unbox natin today. Uy, now we're live. Mukhang maganda yung i-unbox natin phone today. And I'm sure maraming number one fans <laughs> ang gustong makita itong smartphone na to. It is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. It's the much talk about, much hype, 48 megapixels budget phone. Imagine guys, 48 megapixels on a budget. Ito yung retail packaging niya. This is the official retail packaging of the Redmi. It's the global version guys. Global versions. So ayun, sorry na lang sa mga bumili sa gray market na overpriced. <laughs> Shout out sa mga bumili sa gray market na overpriced. Ang ganda ng presyo ng official retail price ni Redmi Note 7. Napakaganda ng presyo niya. Global version pa, hindi China ROM. Hindi ka na mahihirapan. And as you all know, this is the Redmi Note 7. And let's do the unboxing now. There you go. So actually, na-unbox na. Nabuksan na talaga ito ni na ano eh. Ni na Xiaomi mismo bago ibigay sa akin. Kasi this is a review unit. So, unang makikita mo is this. Look at this. Uh, you have the paper documentation. You have the warranty card. You have the user guide. Uh, okay naman. The usual papers. If, you, if mahilig ka magbasa. And then you got this thing. Uh, this is the PPU clear case. Uh, hindi naman siya clear niya clear. It's translucent. Medyo black-black. Medyo blackish siya, no, Yerda? That's, uh, dito si Yerda, yung isa sa ating mga writers. Kasama ko siya nag-unbox. Anyway, uh, balik tayo. Please do a durability test. Na pinupokpok nila ito kung saan-saan eh. But not now. Mag-unboxing muna tayo. So, this is the unit itself. As you can see, very premium looking niya. It reminds me of the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite. Sobrang kumukha-kumukha siya ni Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite. From the back. Uh, but mamaya na yan. Tingnan mo natin yung laman niya. Uy, si Helen Ortega is watching. Hello, pare. Uh, please do a durability test. Tingnan natin kung magagawa natin yan. And then, of course, you have this USB-C port. A uh, USB-C cable, I'm sorry. Uh, the usual USB-C cable. At least USB-C siya. Hindi kasam, hindi kagaya ng uh, other devices at this price point na still on micro USB. Babalik ko muna siya sa kanyang pinaglalagyan dahil ipo photoshoot pa namin siya. Hindi ko pa nasushoot tong produktong to. Para mamintayin natin yung ganda niya. <laughs> Balik ko muna yung cable. Uh, pinakita ko lang sa inyo, at least USB-C siya. Then, you get this, it's okay. This one, pang international to eh, di ba? This type of plug. Pero meron naman tayong mga extension cords and mga adapters. And marami ng plug na ako nakikita with this type of uh, charger. Let's see kung ilang, kung ilang ampere siya. Hindi sa gilid. Nakabasa ba, guys? I'm using the Realme 3 ngayon sa Facebook Live. <laughs> Alam ko, marami sa inyo naghihintay ng comparison natin with this. So, it is using a 5 volts 2 amps charger. Pero, that's a fast enough charger compared with the 5 volts 1 amp ni iPhone. iPhone, hello, 2019 na. Uh, 2019 na iPhone. Keep up naman. 1 amp pa rin kayo. <laughs> At least ito, 2 amps. Pero, meron pang surprise si Xiaomi. Meron tong support up to... Ito, ilan nga ba yun? Up to quick charge for plus technology. So, pag meron kang quick charge na charger, gumagana siya dito. Ang galing, di ba? Imagine, napakamura ng phone ito. Babanggatin natin yung kanyang specs and price in a bit. And then, of course, you get this one. This is the SIM injector tool. So, sige, buksan natin. Nasaan ba? Nandito sa left side yung kanyang SIM injector. Uh, SIM tray. Hidden siya din. Cleverly hidden. It's a unibody. No, it's not a unibody design. It's a glass in liquid. It's using a hybrid tray. So, isang may... Micro, ay nano, nano yun, nano, nano ulit dito, and then pwede rin siya maging micro, how, how do you call this, uh, micro SD. So, that's the unboxing of this phone. Let's talk about its specs. Yung specs niya, is very unusual at this price point. Kasi napaka solid eh, actually pare, napaka tempting talaga niya. I think this is one of the most... Together with the Realme 3, silang dalawa talaga game changer eh. But halimaw, halimaw tong dalawang phones ito. Anyway, kwento ko yung specs niya. It is using a 6.3 inch uh, screen, uh, 2.5D curved Gorilla Glass 5. Meron siyang protection na ganun. IPS panel pala siya ah. And then the exact resolution is 2340 by 1080. And then inside, you get this trusty, pero medyo tumatanda na si Snapdragon 660 eh. The 14 nanometer Snapdragon 660 AIE Octa-Core processor. Don't get me wrong, guys. Ha? Don't quote me on that. Don't misquote me. 
Kaya na tumatanda na sa Snapdragon 660, it is still one of the best chips, especially at this price segment. Uh, kaya naman siya maging available here, da. Can you check sa site natin? <laughs> Nakalimutan ko na eh. Nakalimutan ko sa kodigo natin. It's, uh, it's sa mga bagong news natin yun. Pero, I think March 25 or March 27, something like that. Then going back, obviously, Snapdragon 660 is paired. Snapdragon 660 is paired with an Adreno 5... No, Adreno 512 GPU. Adreno 512 GPU is a trusty GPU na can play games. Kaya na itong medium ng NBA. Minsan ba nga, hay, kaya eh. And maybe other games. Mobile Legends, walang problema. PUBG siguro, medium din, kaya. Can it record video up to 1080p, 60fps? Sabi ni John and Lehitimas. I will check later, ha? Ma-specs muna tayo. Ayun, sabi nila, March 27, exclusively at Lazada, it will be available there. And then next, you get this... Ang Philippine version, ang Philippine version is 3GB, 4GB of... 3GB and 4GB, LTDDR4X. Sa India kasi, in China, I think meron silang version with 6GB of RAM. But sa atin hanggang 4GB lang. Pero, 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 sa Pilipinas, meron tayo hanggang 1-8GB of storage. Sa China, alam ko, hanggang 64 lang sila. So, it's still bet. Okay pa rin. Lalo na, mura naman eh. And then we got, syempre, 32GB, 64GB, and then 1-8GB. Expandable siya up to 256GB. Gaya na pinakita ko kanina, may micro SD card slot siya. Hybrid nga lang. But okay na rin yun. Next is the 4,000 mAh battery. 4,000 mAh of battery, that's... Uh, nagiging common na siya at this price point. I'm happy. Finally, at least malalaki na yung mga battery ng mga phones ngayon. And then you get the fourth, the Quack Qualcomm Quick Charge. Di ba? Technology. Pero you buy that separately. Nasaan na yung mga ano natin? Edge. Yung mga... Dito kasama kayo mga teammates ko ngayon. Nasaan na yung mga B-Power natin? Pakita natin. Uh, yung meron ng Quick Charge. Yun. Pwede kasi nila gamitin dito yun. B-Power. Murang-mura yun. Uh, So next, meron siyang Android Pie. So MIUI 10 na siya, yes, obviously. And then, as you can see here, meron siyang uh, fingerprint scanner. Yay, may fingerprint scanner siya. And then, what else? May IR blaster on top. Birang-bira ka makikita ng phones with an IR blaster at this price segment. And I'm happy na meron siyang ganun. Pwede kang mag-control ng TV. <laughs> Pwede kang mag-control ng TV. Pwede kang mag-remote control ng aircon. Or any other appliances. Yeah. Totoo to, camera 2 API enabled din. Quick charge 4 plus, di ba? So here, kung pwede ko gumamit ng mga gantong type of chargers or kung meron ka mga ports, basta merong Qualcomm quick charge. Ito 3.0 lang eh. Pero pasok pa rin yan sa 4.0 technology. Anyway, uh, next is meron siyang Bluetooth 5, 4G LTE. Alam ko, dual LTE pa to eh. Here da, favor, pakipaste naman yung specs sa comment section para mabaso ng mga nanonood ngayon. Ito nyo, live na live na live kami ngayon. Still charge up to 2.4. Oh, I will try it with my unit. Ah. Uh, hindi ko pa masabi. So ito. Ang pinaka-highlight niya, of course, is the camera. Ayun o guys, 48 megapixels. AI dual camera. Yung 48 megapixels niya is a Samsung ISO cell bright GM1 sensor. It is paired with a 5MP f2.4 secondary lens. Maybe for depth yun. Yung 48 megapixels is unheard of at this price point. Yung Huawei Mate 20 Pro ko has a 40 megapixels. I'm not saying it's better. Obviously, talo si Xiaomi dito <laughs> sa Mate 20 Pro. But, 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 48 MP on a budget. Saan ka pa makakita ng ganun? Diba? Side panels are plastic, yes. But the back is glass. So, 48 megapixels. It is using a pixel binning technology. Kabaliktaran yun ni ano ha. Pixel binning, kabaliktaran yun in layman's term interpolation. Ibig sabihin, yung kinocombine niya yung 4 pixels into 1. Kaya siya nagiging 12 megapixels output. Ang resulta nun, way, way better photos. <laughs> really good photos, especially at this price segment. I'm really hyped up about this phone kasi nga, ang ganda eh. Okay, but may iPhone X dyan. <laughs> iPhone X Irda yan. Okay, so, sa harapan naman, sa selfie. Nakabukas na siya kasi ginagamit ko na siya kanina. Ang selfie camera niya is 13 megapixels na F2.0 with AI portraits. Uh, at least may AI scene detection din siya for selfies, which is kind of rare. And MIUI 10, so really good camera quality here. So now, I want to talk about the build. Gaya nga nang sabi ko kanina, it is using a glass back design. And the build reminds me of the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite. Maybe except for the frame. Because the frame is still plastic. 
But even if plastic yung frame niya, it is using a good type of plastic. Kasi I'm happy about it. Eh. Nagagandahan ako eh. And then look at this guys. Sa ilalim niya. Black kasi yung unit ko kaya hindi masyadong kita. But look. USB Type-C port siya. USB Type-C port. <laughs> Karamihan ng under 10,000 phones. Micro USB. But this one, hindi tinipid ni Xiaomi. Naglagay ng... Naglagay ng... USB-C. So, ano mang benefits ng USB-C? Obviously, reversible charging. And then, pwede siyang magtanggap ng higher output. Ang dami kang benefits na makukuha dito. So, feeling ko madaming matutuwa dito sa ano. Teka lang ha, may reply lang ako saglit. <laughs> anyway, ako na tap, pero to be fair guys, ha, yung sa under 10,000 pesos, maybe under 12,000 pesos, napapatawad ko pa yung mga may micro USB eh. Basta wag lang 20,000 tapos micro USB pa rin. Pero I have to commend Xiaomi again because nga, hindi siya sumunod sa mga yun. <laughs> and then look at this. The other special thing about its design is the screen. It is using a big screen na more than 6 inches. It is a 6.3 inch full HD screen to be exact. Pero tinan nyo to ah. Yung notch niya napakaliit lang. Ang tawag ni Xiaomi sa notch niya is the that that drop parang water drop parang U-shaped notch parang infinity U ni Samsung pero here yan 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 is it true na hindi narating ang pro version niya dito yes it is true kinonfirm ni Xiaomi mismo sa akin kahapon Kawa, kamerienda ko si na Xiaomi kahapon sa DC Cafe favorite na restaurant namin sa Mega Mall feeling ko makikita ninyo ako parati doon um, plugging DC Cafe napakasarap ng food <laughs> social media manager kasi ako doon kaya ako siya pinaplug <laughs> Anyway, oh, pero masarap talaga, to be fair. Anyway, uh, going back, first impressions. I'm happy sa kanya. Ang ganda ng kanyang build, ang ganda ng kanyang screen. Siguro basta wag mo lang siya ibibend, ha? wag mo siya ibibend. Kasi nakita niya naman yung ibang bend test. And sino ba magbibend ng smartphone? It's not meant to be bent. Diba? Ang smartphone, alagaan mo yan, ingatan mo yan. It's your personal device. Pero syempre, importante pa rin na matibay. And I'm glad naman na okay lang to. Why? Meron siyang Gorilla Glass 5 back. Gorilla Glass 5 yun, di ba? Gorilla Glass 5 din yung harapan niya. Hindi lang sa harapan, ha? pati sa likuran. You heard me right, guys. Pati sa likuran. Oo, oh, ikaw, ha? <laughs> Sobra kong ano, eh. No? Na-excite kasi talaga ako sa phone na to. Tukuha ako sa kanya. Babasa natin yung specs sa inyo. Spec. Ganda na specs, eh. Teka, may Vivo Ad. Tanggalin natin. Ang ganda. Ang ganda na specs, eh. Grabe. Di ba, Jan? Masarap sa DC Cafe. No. May nag-agree. <laughs> Anyway, so get tested natin yung camera niya. So, kaya ako... Kaya na dito si Dutch Eard, ah. <laughs> Ito siya yung gagawin nating model. So, there we go. Ito yung camera interface ni Xiaomi. And as you can see, really fast yung kanyang uh, shutter speed. Even at 48 megapixel lang kanyang gamit. And then, meron siyang auto AI scene detection dito. As you can see, meron siyang auto HDR here. And then, you get this... Really cool feature, the night mode. It's my favorite feature actually kasi look at that. It can take multiple exposure photos and then stitch them into one into one really crisp and bright image. I will show you how good it looks. Diba? Solid yung, even yung details, details ng kanyang background is something that is not that really common at this price point. So I'm really happy that it has that feature. And then, like, bunasan ko lang yung lente. And then, Look at this, yung portrait mode niya is also aided by AI. May AI siya. Mamaya ko compare ko siya with ano, Realme 3. Magandang laban sila. Kasi even if 13 megapixels na yung kay Realme 3, sumasabay sa 48 na ito. Maybe siguro lalamang to sa low light to Xiaomi. Kasi 48 MP and then you get that, that really huge sensor size for photography, for low light photography. And then you also have the night mode. Now look at this, the camera filters. Madami siyang camera filters that we can use. Depende sa inyo. Mamaya magpo-post ako ah. Magpo-post ako ng maraming camera samples. And obviously, unbox na rin natin to. Gagawa rin kami ng... Ay, may papag-giveaway kami pero hindi yung phone. Paparapol kami ng speaker. Abangan niyo guys. So, so far, this is the phone. It looks good, di ba? It looks pretty, really pretty. And then you get that really good camera. So, let's explore the camera up more. May mga nagtatanong kanina. Munti ko na makalimutan yung video. Yung video niya... May EIS to. I'm sure may EIS to. Kasi mahilig naman si Xiaomi maglagay ng EIS even on a budget eh. So, so, so. Ito na yung camera settings niya. Oh, full HD. 
I'm sure may EIS to. But hindi ko makita siya. Ayun, meron yan. May image stabilization, guys. Test sa games. Mamaya na-test natin sa games. Ngayon, live na rin natin gawin. So, testing na rin ngayon. My hand is shaky, you know? Uh, lagi akong pasmado. But let's see if maganda yung magiging output na makukuha natin with this type of video that I'm shooting right now. Hi, guys. Say hello. Napakita natin itong video na to. Hello, Lisbeth. Hello, Edge. Birthday kasi ni Irda, kaya nandito si Lisbeth. Uh, oh, happy birthday, that's Irda. So, ayun na ngayon. natin. Anyway, ayun yan. Pakita natin yung output. May lapon po sa Realme, sa ka Realme 3 sa camera. Oo naman, syempre. Sa pa yun, nag din yun eh. To be very, ano sila, very close match talaga sila. Oh my God, ang ganda ng video niya. Lumalaban yung video. Lumalaban yung video niya. I like the video. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Yung mga friendships natin. Si Edge yan, writer ka rin yan si Edge. Si Lisbeth naman, best friend ni Irda. Si Irda, writer natin yan. So, pakita natin. Pakita natin kay ano. Kay Irda yung video na kinuha natin. Ito na mo, ah. Nakita ko lang sa kanya. Di ba ako smooth? Ayun, sige, pag-usapan pa natin. Ikaw naman, picturean mo ako. Oh, ako okay. pa tayo ng shot. Kasi medyo iba naman yung lighting dito sa akin. Eh. Una na ako ni Irda. Hello. Sapa. Live na live talaga tayo. Walang peke ito, guys. Ha? <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Nakalimutan ko yung presyo. Kwento ko yung presyo. <laughs> so, yung 3GB RAM version. Ay, yung, yung picture ko, yung tsura ko. Uy, pumapayat na ako in fairness. Nasa kettle kami ngayon, live. So, kung gusto niya kami makita, nasa kettle kami, siya ang rila. Basta huwag niya kami hingawayin. <laughs> so, ito yung presyo niya. 3GB RAM, 32GB ROM is 7990. 3GB RAM, 4GB RAM, 64GB ROM is 9990. And then the 4GB RAM and 128GB of ROM is $11,490. Imagine guys, look at the price. FB video call po, sorry I cannot do that right now. Wala pa akong Facebook dito. Anyway, uh, ang ganda ng presyo. Nakakakilig yung presyo niya eh. <laughs> to be honest, nakakakilig yung presyo niya. Sige, balikan niyo ako may makikita kayong ganyang klaseng phone at this price point. <laughs> Si Realme 3 lang talaga eh. Yung pwede tumapat dito eh. Diba? Pero ang dikit ng laban eh. Ang ganda. So, panalo yung consumers. Tapos si Samsung, yung Galaxy M20, gumaganda pa yung laban. Nandiyan pa yung M20? Guys? Nandiyan. Galaxy M20 pa Para Paramo ko na ibang mga device. Ayan, daga. <laughs> Gagawa tayo ng comparison with the Realme 3. Sige. So, M20 tsaka yung Huawei na rin. Sige. So, eto, 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 eto. Taka, balik tayo, balik tayo, baba tayo. Balik tayo sa device. Ang dami na exposure ni Irda. So, eto, look at this. These two devices are similarly priced phones. Uh, pero yung specs ni specs ni uh, Mi 8 Lite and Mi Realme 3 na malayo sa dalawang to. And before, kinoconsider natin sa ng sulit. Diba? Grabe. Nakakakilig yung ginawa ni Xiaomi dito sa phone na to. So, kaya magsiselfie naman kami. Guys, selfie tayo ha. Selfie tayo. Yung mga nasa likod. Lisbeth. Okay, selfie still needs improvement. <laughs> Medyo weakness talaga ni Xiaomi yung selfie. Kasi I find it soft. I find it soft. Yeah, medyo soft siya. Uh, sana improve nila yung selfies nito. Maybe kaya naman ito makuha via software update. Yun lang naman yung napansin kong minor, 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 minor weakness niya. O, oh, ayun. <laughs> Pero yun. Pero the main camera kasi is great eh. So I cannot complain. Teka, pakita pa tayo na ibang camera samples that I took kanina. Kasi nagpo-food trip kami kanina. Nag-meeting kami, Team Giz Guide meeting. With our extra, Lisbeth. Kasi birthday ni Yerda. So look at this. Ang sarap tingnan nung steak ko. Ano ba? steak fries yung chicken panalo yung chicken napakasarap ng chicken dito sa kettle uh, plug na rin natin yung kettle kasi ganito yan ako sobrang foodie ko guys sobrang foodie ko hinahanap ko parati yung best fried chicken in town and sa sobrang dami ng inikot kong restaurants for me kettle pa rin yung pinakamasarap na fried chicken mura pa hindi siya sobrang mahal so that's our quick preview when it comes to the camera performance of this device with flash. Anong with flash? Sabi ni Farah. May, may flash yan sa likod. 
may flash sa likod. Sa harapan, feeling ko may screen flash sa harapan. Meron ba? Oh, meron. May screen, may screen flash sa harapan. And then next, uh, what else? Pakita ko na yung Antutu. Siyempre, in-install ko na kanina. Boom. That's 141,000. Number one. Number one. <laughs> I think this is the fastest phone at this price point. If one of the fastest. Kasi ako nga pala, mas gusto ko nga pala sa Helio P60 over Snapdragon 660. But, but ako lang yun. <laughs> yung iba marami pa rin, mas mas gusto sa 660 dahil sa GPU niya. Gusto ko lang si P60 dahil sa AI niya. Pero um, good match. This is a very, 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 very competitive smartphone at this price point. So gaming ang pinali natin. Siyempre maraming gusto nang makita ng games dito. So itatry na rin kung okay ba siya sa gaming. NBA. Classic. Kasi ayoko mo na gumasa sa data eh. So offline games na yun. <laughs> so kaka-install lang namin kanina na itong game na to. Subukan natin if kaya niya maglaro ng uh, all high settings. Uy, pamangkin ko ba yung nanonood? Piling ko pamangkin ko yung nanonood. So, di yung settings niya. So, ito yung default settings niya. So, itry muna natin siya with the default settings na may mga low, may mga medium. Tapos, saka natin subukan yung all high settings. Oo, masarap sa kettle. The best. Try mo yung buttermilk fried chicken nila. Panalo talaga. This is really my favorite na... <laughs> Kung hindi ka magkikettle, try mo yung fireside. Magkamag-anak yun sa owner. So, masarap din. <laughs> Butom guide talaga. So ito, try na natin yung games ha. So this is a medium, low combination ng iba-ibang settings. Uh, I think it will be very smooth. But itatry din natin yung ano. Sensya nyo na, hindi talaga ako gamer eh. <laughs> Pinag-press ko yung centro. Ayan, yung text. So obviously, very 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 smooth siya sa default settings. Wala akong naramdamang frame drops. Sige, huwag na natin patagalin to. Obvious naman na... Obvious naman na smooth siya sa default settings na to. Gusto ko matry if magiging smooth pa rin siya pag nag-high settings na tayo. Madami nagkatanong, Realme 3 or Redmi Note 7 when it comes to camera? Please guys, give, bigyan niyo ako until this weekend. Ang daming review units, ang daming lumabas na smartphones today. So medyo uh, madugo-dugo. But gagawin namin yung promise, gagawin namin yung comparison. Masa bigyan niyo ako until this weekend. Sige, high natin. High na natin yung mga settings niya. Para naman ma-challenge si Redmi Note 7. Kasi hindi siya na challenge eh. High natin lahat ah. Siguro ang mali... Wag, wag, ang hindi lang natin niya high si ano, clot simulation. Kasi yung mga clot simulation from mga, pang mga Snapdragon 8 series na yan eh. Ang mga kirin na, na high-end yan eh. Sideline, lagyan natin ng konting sideline. Medium siguro. Depth of field, off na rin natin yung depth of field muna. Not all. So I just want to show na can play games. So sige, gamitin natin si Luca Doncic. <laughs> Luca Magic. Luca Magic. Kaya, kaya, smooth. So subukan natin ito. Eh. Feeling ko maganda i-upload din natin sa YouTube itong live video natin. Na? Mm. Upload Be natin good. sa YouTube. Oh, may mga nagre-request. Eh. Upload namin ito sa YouTube. Nag-live unboxing tayo ng Redmi Note 7. Live talaga. Walang daya. Walang daya. Dito fake news, legit na Redmi Note 7, global unit, official retail unit, hindi gray market. Mas mura sa gray market. <laughs> May official warranty. Legit. So ito tingnan natin, nag-dress si Luca. Swak. So okay, playable pa rin. So ito na yung ating cake. Dumating na happy birthday year da. Dumating na, happy birthday year da. Dumating na, hello, hello. Bit-bit ni ano. Bit-bit ni Neil Jimenez po to. Hello, Neil. Mukhang pinawisan nga, napagod ka ata. <laughs> Layo ata na nalakad mo. Ah. Mga teammates natin yan. So, ito. Buksan mo na, mag-unbox ka na rin ng ano mo. Teka, happy birthday. Teka, habang nag-unbox siya ng kanyang... Mag-unbox ka na, buksan mo na yung cake mo. Kung habang nag-unbox siya ng cake niya, maglalaro muna tayo. Kasi papakita natin yung gaming performance ng device na to. Oh, ang sweet naman ni Neil. O, oh, ano ba? Ganyan kami dito sa guest guide. Kailangan inaalagaan yung mga tao. <laughs> Patingin niya. Patingin niya. Hindi ba? 
<laughs> That's your thing. <laughs> Ayos ba? Mag picture tayo mamaya. Anyway, I'm back to gaming muna tayo. <laughs> Medyo natutuwa ako maglaro eh. So far, impressed talaga ako dito ah. Kasi nga, subukan din natin maglagay ng clot simulation. Kung magiging okay pa rin siya. Kasi okay siya without clot simulation eh. Quit tayo. Lagay tayo ng konting clot simulation. Ayan, yan, yan, yan. Lagay tayo ng clot simulation ah. Sige na nga, set. High na rin natin yung sideline. Tsaka ultra high natin yung depth of field. Sagarin na natin. Although feeling ko maglalag na siya. Uy guys, in fairness, yung heating issue, wala ako nararamdaman. And hindi siya nang minit. To carry lang. Madaming matutuwang gamers dito, at saka mobile photographers. May, ay, nakalimutan kayo pakita, may pro mode siya. May pro mode daw eh. Bubuksan natin mamaya. Pagkatapos ka mag-game. Ayan, naglalag na siya. Hindi <laughs> niya na kinakaya yung pinaka-high settings lahat. Pero pag natimpla mo ng tama, okay lang. O, medyo okay pa rin. Medyo okay pa rin. Although, noticeable na talaga yung frame drops. Ano ba? Imagine guys, this is starting price nito, 8,000 pesos, di ba? Ayan, noticeable na yung frame drops. Ay, hindi ko na check kung ano exact variant to. Nakalimutan ko i-check kung ano exact variant natin. So, tingnan natin sa about phone. So, I got the 4 gig variant. The 4 gig variant with 64 gigabytes of storage. So, suave. I think that's everything for now. Salamat sa mga nag-tune in. And, sana natuwa kayo sa video namin kahit pa paano. And I hope to see you guys back. Please share this video as para makita rin ng iba yung live unboxing natin ng Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. I think this is the new number one. <laughs> Number one or number two phone at this price point. Dikit na dikit na dikit talaga siya with Dream Me Dream. And I'm really happy for our consumers. I'm really happy na paganda na ng paganda yung mga choices ng ating consumers. Especially at this under 10,000, under 12,000 price segment. Dati, at this price point, overpriced yung mga mabibili. Hindi, mahal siya, mababa specs. Or mura siya, Sobrang mo babari na specs. But this time, even if even if mura siya, mataas yung specs. Oh, pakita natin yung promo. Pili mo may promo do eh. Ayan, may promo siya guys. Oh, i-upload ko sa YouTube tong video na to. Sana lang naka-save siya ng maganda-gandang format. So may shutter speed siya up to 32 seconds guys. Up to 32 seconds. And then look at this. May manual focus din. So may ISO siya, 100 to 3,200. So pwede na to for the basic mo basic mobile photography. And that's it for now. Again, this is Peter of GizGuide.com and this is the amazing Redmi Note 7. It's really amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!